that has been uh, has been going uh, when uh, has been going on very well until uh, 2017 uh, 2017 we we had the entry of the Egyptian mango in the Middle East and this is posing a very big uh, challenge uh, for the exports uh, for the mango exports from Kenya because I would say like uh, Kate exporters our mango exports uh, for the last uh, three years uh, from uh, 2017 has been declining by 20 percent and uh, therefore that means uh, as a country then we must uh, look for alternative markets. We are expecting our first consignment to the EU this year in September and we have been able to put measures and protocols in place so that we can be able to meet and comply to the requirements for the export market. Our hope and our prayer is we will be able to reopen in this year 2021 the EU market so that we can increase that that band of the percentage of mangoes that can be exported. Why do we want this? Because export mangoes earns more money to the farmer as compared to the local market, as compared to the mangoes that are uh, processed. So we really want to, 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 to increase our share in the export market. The initiatives that have been put in place from 2020 to this to date are currently working. It's been established that the levels of infestations have drastically gone down and uh, I believe moving forward then the only way to reward the farmers efforts is to open the, the market. The EU market. Tumeweza kukua, tunaweza kutuma EU market because already through ka Kibwezi Limited, Kamban, we have managed to send some of the mang our mangoes to Europe market. And especially a few from my area, my, 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 my shamba, we have managed to send uh, almost enough for, from here.